Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Plays, and today I will be ranking my top 10 champions in Marvel Contest of Champions. Roll the intro. First of all, if you want to check out my previous top 5 video, click on that card in the top corner. Now onto the disclaimers. First, I don't have a very diverse roster, meaning there are lots of champions I either don't have, or don't have a great, like, ranked up or awakened version of some champions. For example, I don't have any ghosts, and I only have a 3-star Doctor Doom, I have a Ma Max Aegon, but it's not awakened. As you can see, this will affect my ranking by a lot. Also, this list is based off of who I personally like the best, not who are, like, objectively better champions. Some champions might be better than others, but I might like using the other champion more. Now, let's get into the list. At number 10 is Aegon. The reason he is only number 10 is because my 4-star version of him is not yet awakened, which makes him not too good. But, right now I'm trying to 100% 5.1 to get a 4-star awakening jam, and once I awaken him, he'll be an absolute beast. I'm able to rack up that combo meter and then start getting all of those crazy buffs and perks. He's obviously the best choice for long paths like Realm, Labyrinth, all that stuff. So, my number 10 is Aegon. Number 9 on my list is Omega Red. If I can awaken this guy and get him to a high sig level and then also rank him up, he'll be an absolute monster. But, I haven't even awakened this guy yet, so he's, not, he's pretty good, but he's not the greatest yet. Once he's awakened, though, he'll just shred through so much content, and he will easily move up the list. But until that happens, Omega Red is my number 9. For number 8, I have Colossus. This guy has just so many immunities, he hits so hard and his damage is amazing. Over the fight, he gains so many armor up buffs, he takes so little damage when he gets hit and when he blocks. He's immune to like almost every de debuff, which is just amazing for so many fights, especially those like Iceman with this cold snap, which is super annoying. This champion is a lot of fun to play, but I only have an unranked up 4-star of him, so that's why he's so low, but he could move up the list very quickly. Now at number 7 is Doctor Doom. This champion is just so much fun to fight with. I only have a 3-star version of him, but he is just absolute ball, ball to fight with. From his unblockable specials to his heavy to the shock he inflicts and stagger and stuff. It's just everything about him is just so much fun to use and just makes him an absolutely insane champion. But since I don't have a great ranking of him or great star of him, he is at my number seven. Now at number six, I have Guillotine 2099. She's a great champion that deals so much damage after she is ramped up. She has her cloaking, which makes people miss, which is just an amazing safety net. Her damage can become absolutely insane after a combo meter ramp up. But, like, with Colossus, I only have an unranked up 4-star of her. She's awakened, but I haven't gone around to ranking her up yet. But after I rank her up, she could also move up this list. At number 5, I have Iron Man Infinity War. This champion is one of the most fun champions to use in the entire game. I love using his unblockable special 1, which inflicts shock, his special 2 incinerates the opponent, and then also when he gets really low, he auto blocks and also power gains, and I just spam that special 1 with the power gain. I love everything about the play style of this champion. His damage isn't the greatest, which is why he's not the highest on the list, but he's just so much fun to play. Now at number four, I have Thing. I recently got this champion as one of my first few five stars, and he had just not disappointed at all. I love the mechanic of his rock stacks and then building up all those furies. He has a pretty good amount of immunities, which is also great. But my favorite part is just using this guy's special 3, making him unblockable and unstoppable. So then I just keep comboing the heck out of the other champion, and it is just amazing. I just keep smashing to their block, and they can't block it at all. And it is just so much fun to play with this guy. And that is why Thing gets number 4. 
Leading off the top three is my Quake. Once I learned how to use this champion correctly, she became just absolutely insane. When you use your heavy and then dex their attack and just repeat that over and over, you can never get hit in the fight using her correctly. She destroys anyone who doesn't passively gain power, so that is 95% champions in the game, and she's just so much fun to use. Because of all this and more, Quake takes my number three. At number two is my Captain Marvel movie. When she gets into binary ignition, her damage is absolutely crazy, and it's just so much fun to do. Unless she's fighting a Mystic Champion, she's just insane. Her specials become unblockable in her, when she's in binary ignition, and then her special two stuns, and then use the heavies, and all these reasons make Captain Marvel movie my number two champion. And my favorite champion in Marvel Contest of Champions is Nick Fury. I just recently awakened this guy, and I realized how absolutely nuts he is. Once he gets into his second phase, the bleed combined with the damage output just tears down so many opponents so quickly. On a combo, he inflicts two bleeds. With his heavy, he inflicts three bleeds. And his special two can inflict, inflict four bleeds while also stunning the opponent. The internal bleed that he puts out after eight bleeds does so much damage. And then when he stacks up tactical charges, he gets so many different buffs from becoming unblockable to also not being able to miss or ignoring invades is just absolutely crazy. All of this and more makes Nick Fury my favorite champion in Marvel Contest of Champions. So those are my top 10 favorite champions in Marvel Contest of Champions. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like the video if you, if you liked it, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content. Then also follow us on Twitter at MrPlays9. And until next time, peace!